want to go so, I mean, just walking around in Toronto, um, so he and I graduated the same year. So I think we at Cape Breton University on Cape Breton Island in Nova Scotia in Canada. We're broadcasting around the world via live stream um, from the Center for Sound Communities Facebook page. Um, today, all day long in the Center for Sound Communities, Cape Breton youth and elders from diverse communities around the island came together to share songs and stories of immigration and encounter. We gathered uh, some of the most important ideas into very short song text. And what you'll hear in a few minutes is uh, some of what we created. Uh, first, I'd, I'd like to say some thank yous uh, to Brian Sherwick, who's come from Newfoundland. He's at the back. He's an ethnomusicologist, and he's done a lot of work facilitating uh, youth music making, as well as some tremendous research. Uh, he's, he's been a, a mentor to me in my research over the last 25 years as well. I'm really delighted that he could be here. Uh, along with Brian Stuart McNeil, from the Bear McNeils and Robert DeVoe from Shetty Camp. Um, two really wonderful musicians uh, who've been very generous with their time and uh, knowledge and support uh, for all kinds of projects here at the Centre. Also, uh, elders from Member 2 uh, helped out today in a huge way. Uh, Lawrence Wells, Shailene Johnson, who's here on the stage, and Jeff Ward, who's on the other stage, uh, as well as Kaz Savitsky, uh, uh, an elder in, from the community in the pier, Chris and Mary Makondawiri, who are newer immigrants, and Myron Sims, who's on the djembe today. He came here today from Shetty Camp. And uh, thank you also to our sponsors and community partners, the CBRM Festivals and event, uh, Events Funding uh, Program, to Member 2 Community Foundations of Canada, and uh, Nova Scotia Research and Innovation Trust, as well as the Canada Foundation for Innovation, which are the main funders for this research facility. Uh, the Center for Sound Community supports community-engaged research, particularly uh, with sound and movement studies, so music and dance, and digital media, and all kinds of uh, related uh, research in science and social sciences, um, as well as arts. <clears throat> The Social Sciences and Humanities Research Council of Canada and the Canada Research Chairs uh, programs also fund a lot of my research here and research in the centre. And the Canada 150 Fund also contributed significantly to the project that's running today and the component that will run in the fall. So what happened today was a very short, kind of a test run for a project um, that will have a longer component running in the fall. Today people came from different communities around the island they came to the Center for Sound Communities. They shared stories of immigration and encounter. We are on the unceded territories of indigenous people, uh, the Mi'kmaq, and um, as well as stories of immigration. Uh, and then in the afternoon, after, after two hours or so of sharing stories and hearing each other's stories, and um, w then, then uh, Brian and the other musicians led the youth in a process of creation where a brand new text and song was created. So all of the rich stories that were shared in the morning, um, the ideas that meant the most to us uh, came together in new words, new ways of uh, expressing those ideas and it's in the text that you're going to hear in, in a few minutes. Of course a very big thank you to CBU especially to the Dean of the CBU Library and CBU Multicultural Learning. That's Sean Bethke. He played a huge role in making today, today's events happen at CBU. Um, so in just a moment, I'm going to give the stage to the performers. Uh, among them, you'll see youth. I'll ask them to put their hands up and just give a shout out. Astra, Mariana, Malcolm, Felicity, Cruz, Jacob, Nevea, and Brea. Um, but before I leave you, I'm going to ask uh, one small favor of you. This is a research project. It's an arts-based research project. So three, through creative work, we learn about one another and we explore different topics, as we did today, immigration and encounter at Canada's 150. Um, and as part of our research, 
We're going to ask if you would participate as well. Um, if you would take about five or six minutes uh, before you leave the studio to uh, fill out a short survey, answer just a few questions on an iPad. Uh, so it'll be that easy. Um, if you don't mind, um, Michelle at the back. Do we see Michelle? Um, and uh, you'll see anyone wearing this t-shirt as a part of the project team so they can help you um, find a, a survey to answer. I'd really appreciate it if you do that. So please join me in welcoming the crew today. Thank you. 
Yeah. And Ons and Michelle and uh, Adam and Kathleen. They're a big part of the, they're the crew that really, you know, in the backstage of everything, uh, supported everything and made it happen. Chris is also in the media lab behind you and he's running the live stream. And there are a bunch of other um, uh, grad or graduate students and students around the festival grounds that are working the cameras behind the live stream. So say hello to them too when you get out. Um, but please do take a minute before you leave the studio on behalf of all of us. Uh, I'm Marcia Ostashevsky. It's been our great pleasure to host you here today. Thank you for bringing your kids because I see many parents out there and grandparents and I hope to see you again soon. If you're interested in the fall project, come find us and we'll, we'll be happy to chat with you. Thanks again very much.